It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where it doesn't get any better than this, a Super Bowl rematch. It's the reigning AFC champs and the Lions on Thursday night primetime. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Tonight, it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. The wait is finally over. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. third down he'll drop to throw and that is incomplete oh that's gonna hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there now field goal coming from young way Koo. from the right hash this from an even 40 yards out Two knocks this one through the post, and the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. this one through the post and they're able to double their lead in this first half it's six to nothing so scores on their first two possessions but six nothing so field goal is probably not what they were second quarter this defense looking for a big third down stop here they're already down to the scoreboard just trying to get the ball back to their offense and now a shot taken up Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On play action, they'll throw. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jump. The 
clock reading one minute even. So this offense with 60 seconds to go to try to at least get into field goal range, and they start from their own territory. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. He's got a man complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back great plays defensively. You get the sack on first and goal. A great job in coverage there. All of a sudden, they're looking at third and goal from further back than when they started. And a really good play call is look ahead and down in distance sequence. Now he's got to backtrack a little bit. And he's got his man. It's caught for a and touchdown. A great play there. Seconds of the first half, and the Lions would extend their lead here just before halftime. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just... third down situation coming up in the third quarter in this defense hoping to turn that third down into fourth throwing there but this pass is going to wind up incomplete from a defensive perspective they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football there's pressure on the quarterback they were getting after him The offense is in the red zone. It's a first and 10 situation at the 15-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And he's got it. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They'll try to run with Hunt. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Kareem Hunt taking it in from a yard now. And the Lions will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off.
No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is going to have the Jaguars first down as the defense nowhere to be found there. A gain of 20 on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. A field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Jags come up empty on fourth down, and the Lions will take over. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. in a pretty tough situation. Second and two on second down, Cook. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. This offense have got a really nice drive going, and now it's first and goal. They'll run with Cook, and he takes this one in for Touchdown. Devin Cook taking it in from two yards out. And the Lions are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go nothing to lose now this offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter and it's incomplete They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. 29 yards. And the Lions are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1-0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure what's inside, but you're hopeful, right? In this case, exactly what they were looking for, exactly what they need. Extra point by Curry, and good. And that'll increase their lead. 
as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, partner, tonight was a great way to kick the season off. That Before the game, probably as much pomp and circumstance to start a season as I can ever remember. And this is just game one of many to come sitting next to you. Really looking forward to it. As am I. Great to be back in booth with you for another season. Great to get this year underway. You and I both know interesting is going to be the word. An extra week now as part of that newer 17-game season. What a fun opener tonight. We know the better games are still on their way, but I'm glad that we got started. So for Detroit, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And they'll get the weekend off now.